streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening and thanks for watching News 8 Now at 10. I'm Emily Brown. And I'm Ken Kozarowski. Eau Claire police say they have arrested 28-year-old Jamon Sullivan for first-degree intentional homicide as party to a crime. The arrest connects Sullivan to the death of 39-year-old Christopher Connor last year. Connor was shot and killed at the intersection of Bergen and Bellevue Avenues. Three other men have previously been charged in this case. Kimani Golden, Xavier Thompson, and Michael Purnell. Police say the investigation is ongoing. 21 House Republicans voted down a bill to keep the government open, so a shutdown is now likely tomorrow at midnight. That would mean hundreds of thousands of federal workers get furloughed. Millions more will have to work without pay. The Senate had passed a bipartisan resolution to keep the government open for 45 days, but House Republicans aren't considering it. Wisconsin Assembly Speaker Robin Voss this month created a secret panel to look into the possible impeachment of Wisconsin's newest liberal Supreme Court Justice. A liberal watchdog sued, arguing the panel is a governmental body that is currently violating the state's open meetings law. Now, the only known member of the panel says that lawsuit is frivolous. Former conservative justice David Prosser is the only former justice to have confirmed publicly that he is on the panel. But he's not telling a Dane County judge who the other members are and that calling them a panel at all is a stretch. Prosser says they had lunch together, the word panel never came up, and they were not ordered to do anything. Assembly Speaker Voss told WIS Politics this week he's also declining to name the other members of the group. I didn't want this to be some kind of a public flogging of the people who volunteered to be part of this, which is exactly what's happened. Mm -hmm. So I think my initial decision was right. Uh, ultimately, I would like to put it out for a public review, but again, it's not really a public document. It's certainly not a public process. There's nothing in statute to do it. It's just people giving me advice. Now, Republicans are considering impeachment if Janet Protasiewicz does not recuse herself from two lawsuits that challenge the state's legislative maps. Protasiewicz called those maps unfair and rigged during her campaign, and Republicans say those comments mean she would not rule fairly. But as we've previously reported, the U.S. Supreme Court guarantees all candidates the right to state their opinions on the campaign. The state constitution says an official can be impeached for misconduct in office or crimes and misdemeanors. Protasiewicz has not been charged with a crime. A hefty grant from a state agency has helped develop workforce housing on La Crosse's north side. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall has the story. With some of the lowest socioeconomic demographics in all of La Crosse, people who live near the corner of George Street and St. Cloud wondered if anything good would come of the old train site that remained empty for so long. But when real estate developer Marvin Wanders first visited the site, he saw good everywhere he looked. Workforce housing is a critical economic development issue for a lot of municipalities. Wander's company 360 Real Estate Solutions specializes in the development of workforce housing and with Quick Trip's main campus only a few miles from the site, he had an inkling the location was perfect. They are constantly bringing people to the city. They need housing in the core for that workforce. Thanks to a $217,000 grant from the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, the two 72-unit apartments in 14 townhomes spliced specifically as workforce housing opened. Wander says without the grant, products like Fifth Ward residences don't happen. But some neighbors think the money should have been spent elsewhere. There's a big homeless population in La Crosse um, that that money probably could have been put towards as well, helping rehome those people. Schinder isn't alone. It's like a good investment, but there is other things that they can be doing with it. Um, I know there's a large homeless population downtown, so being able to do something for that would be great. But La Crosse's economic development administrator says the Fifth Ward residences are estimated to generate 25 to $30 million in tax base, a significant boost for an area difficult to develop. You know, our leadership, whether that's the mayor, the councils, or just what we hear as, as city staff, too, know that this is a significant need. And with more space across from Fifth Ward residences, Marvin Wander says 360 Real Estate Solutions isn't slowing down. We have another six acres that we can continue to develop here. Those six acres are right across from Fifth Ward residences. Wander's hopes to develop the land into more housing or businesses. Oktoberfest is in full swing in La Crosse, and day two got started bright and early with a massive German staple. The Legion hosted the 12th annual slicing of the Golden Brat. Volunteers started cooking the 70-pound, 8-foot-long brat at 2 a.m., so it would be ready to eat by 8. 
though next year they're planning on an even bigger brat. That's a big breakfast. <laughs> the tapping of the Golden Keg is a highly anticipated event. It's the kickoff event of Oktoberfest weekend. The ceremony began with 93-year-old Carl Friedlein singing the German anthem. Festival goers then crowded the garden stage to watch Festmaster Jeff Robel tap the Golden Keg. Robel says this is the event he's been looking forward to the most as Festmaster. To have the honor of tapping the keg that really kicks off Oktoberfest, it, it's just unbelievably special. You know, it's just, just tough to describe. The Golden Keg was emptied in under an hour. And all the Oktoberfest festivities bring the crowds, but it also means more response calls for local EMS. Tri-State Director Tom Tornstrom says they see a 30 to 40 percent increase in response calls this week. Gunderson will be adding extra resources this year, including more ambulances, bicycle response teams, and extra supervisors and dispatchers. For example, downtown, we will send a bike team in first, or the fire department may have their paramedics where they would send their bike team in, or a UTV. We don't want to try to send an ambulance through those large crowds, so they will go in there, check it out. Um, we do everything we can to take the patient out of that atmosphere rather than bring in additional you know, heavy equipment. And there are major crowds. This will be the first year EMS will have electric bikes during Oktoberfest. The Oktoberfest celebration continues with the Maple Leaf Parade tomorrow morning. And if you're not planning on staking out a bit on the sidewalk, News 8 Now has you covered. We will broadcast live from the parade route beginning at 10 a.m. Saturday on WQBT Channel 8.2, My Network TV. You can also find a live stream broadcast on News8000.com or on the News 8000 Plus app. Ken and I will be on call and set up along the parade route. We hope to see you there. The Winona County History Center is opening a new exhibit to honor a quilting group that is now celebrating 40 years together. The exhibit features work from local quilters, including those who started the Winona Area Quilt Guild back in 1983. The Guild and the History Center actually have their own history together. The Guild's first show in 1983 was in the museum. Organizers say this guild deserves to be recognized. They're community members who do a lot for other organizations as well as ours, and I want their work to be appreciated. A couple examples, the Guild makes pet pads for the Humane Society, caps for people with cancer, and baby quilts for the Winona Health Birth Center. This exhibit is free and open to the public. Summit Environmental School held a ribbon cutting ceremony today to celebrate their new natural playscape. The playground is an innovative space that focuses on enriching play experiences through natural elements. Those include logs, boulders, ropes, bridges, and water to name a few. Current principal Oscar Uribe credits former principal Dirk Hunter for paving the way for this project. Uh, my goal is to continue with that uh, uh, trajectory of helping our students learn how to integrate their lifestyle with their natural environment and be sustainable and, and have sustainable practices. The school says they are still in need of $60,000 to complete their ultimate vision for the natural land playscape. Coming up tonight is the Friday Night Frenzy. All the local scores and highlights in just a few minutes. And I'm on the pitcher. But anyway, hey, we got first floor weather coming up. We do have warm conditions, maybe a shower storm possible. We'll break that down here a little bit later. Because you win the fall light conditions, we'll be coming back. This Friday through Monday only, everyone gets up to 65% off list. It's Slumberland's customer appreciation sale, and it's a huge deal. Get our best discounts of the whole year, up to 65% off, only at Slumberland Furniture. At Medica, our health plans aren't designed for just anyone. They're designed for you. The dad ceratops, the fairy godmothers, and the glam parents. The old souls, the young at heart, and the literally born yesterday. So whether you're a thrill seeker, a chill seeker, or somewhere in between, we believe no matter who you are, you deserve coverage that has your back. Medica, you're not just covered, you're cared for. This is you, or better said, this is how you see the day. One place to the next, one more thing to check off the list, and maybe it's a bit too much. Or maybe you wouldn't have it any other way. But stopping for 30 minutes? Well, that's just not an option. So that's why there's this, the News 8000 app. 
all your local news, plus a little bit beyond. So take a break when you want to. You know where to find the app. This Friday through Monday only, everyone gets up to 65% off list. It's Slumberland's customer appreciation sale, and it's a huge deal. Get our best discounts of the whole year, up to 65% off, only at Slumberland Furniture. Yeah, don't forget the fall colors are really starting to peak probably for northern Wisconsin. The same is for northern Minnesota, too. Around the area, we're starting to see more colors. So along with Oktoberfest this weekend, it's also probably going to be a great weekend to see color because next weekend will be a different story, too, right now, especially with the rain coming potentially for that one. So next day, like I said, a good time to get out there and enjoy. Otherwise, we do have a little bit of showers we're watching for tonight, mostly near Eau Claire. I'll break that down. That could impact Saturday morning south of I-80, but that's a lesser chance. And then, like I said, Tuesday night through next Saturday is when our next chance of rain in much cooler conditions will be coming, and that will extend into the next weekend. 80s, we'll see temperatures barely getting below 70, so that could set some overtime records just because how warm will be at night. And then we'll cool back to the 60s by the end of next week. And next weekend, we'll be struggling maybe to get to 62. Overall, we're watching the showers. We've had a few tonight that actually impacted Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis, excuse me, with some severe weather, but that's weakening. Later tonight, we're going to see more development just north of Ladysmith. And then Eau Claire will start seeing some of that probably around 4. A little bit of showers. This boundary kind of falls apart across the area. Then as we go down to about 8 a.m., that's when this line gets a little bit closer to La Crosse in the time of the parade with more activity further to Marshfield up to the northeast. By 10, this is where the activity starts to pop up just north of La Crosse, and this is where it starts to fall apart right between 10 and 12. So there's a lot of iffy of whether we're going to see a shower or a thunderstorm during parade time. It's going to get close, so something to keep in mind of. It won't be a heavy downpour. It'll be a brief shower if we do, but something we'll have to keep an eye on. Once we get past noon, everything should then be good for the afternoon hours. Besides a few showers north of Ladysmith, the rest of the south, uh, the rest of the area should remain dry in very warm conditions. So that's what we're kind of looking at, so keep an eye on the thing. Overall, rain amounts, well, like I said, north of Eau Claire, probably up to a half inch. If you get closer to La Crosse South, you'll be lucky to get a tenth. In some areas, probably getting not much. It just depends if we keep those showers and storms going on in the morning. So big picture shows you all that activity going on tonight and then tomorrow, later or in the morning hours. And then after that, it's really be, we're going to watch the system out west begin to approach. But it's going to take its time. So in the meantime, high pressure, southerly winds will keep us warm all the way through about Tuesday. And eventually, we're going to start seeing a front approach from the west. It's going to take some time. But by the time we get to Tuesday and to Wednesday, you start seeing it approach Wednesday afternoon. And then you begin to see a low wrap up right to the west. And what this is going to do is going to park overhead. And we're going to start getting showers off and on through probably the end of the week into the weekend, along with this northwest flow, which is going to be cooler. So that's why we're looking at a different type of weekend coming up next weekend. Rain showers, probably cooler temperatures, much more fall or October-like than what we're seeing this weekend. That could linger all the way into the early part of the following weekend. So that's why I say this weekend would be a definitely a good time to get out and enjoy some of the color, too, out there. Overall tonight, look at those lows. Barely getting below 70. That's more like August weather. Once again, a shower or storm in the morning, we'll see that. Otherwise, look at mid-80s with dew points that could push up to the 90 degree mark with some heat index. So overall, the eight day forecast you see, and it kind of froze again. <laughs> Let's go back. Well, it's going to freeze on you. Anyway, we'll skip over that and go right back to the screen anyway. Uh, we're looking at 80 degree weather going through about uh, Tuesday and then fall like, like I said, 26, 27 degree drop mm -hmm. next weekend. Yeah. All right. Well, so enjoy it this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm looking forward to those fall colors. Yes. Yes. Well, coming up next in sports, it's the Friday Night Frenzy. Kate and I will break down some of the area's top games, including a big one out in Alaska as those Hilltoppers went for their fifth straight. At Taco John's, we never judge a book by its cover. But if the cover is a one-of-a-kind flatbread coated in aged cheddar, crispy shredded potatoes, and our signature potato ole seasoning, we say judge the shell out of it. New Cheddar Crunch Tacos, only at Taco John's. It's the Bobby Bones Show. Wake up to friends every single morning. Amy is honest. You train like you're a professional athlete. You never know when I'm going to get the call into the big leagues. Yeah, but how old are you? Bobby and I are such good friends that if I need to check in, I'm not scared to do it. Garth Brooks number one. I disagree. It's George Strait. It's just a lot of fun every single morning. Yes. We have amazing chemistry together. I agree with that 100%. Come hang with us. Join me, Bobby Bones, every weekday morning starting at 6 on Kicks 106.3. 
There's never been a better time to enjoy quality Flex Steel furniture than right now during the Flex Steel factory authorized sale at Drury's in Fountain. You'll save on the latest casual sofas, chairs that say, take me home, stunning sectionals, even luxurious leather sofas and recliners. Every Flex Steel style is included in your choice of over 2,000 designer fabrics and leathers, all at the best prices of the year. Unlimited choices, big savings, and special 12-month interest-free financing. It's happening now at Drury's in Fountain. If you have moderate to severe Crohn's disease, SkyRizzy is the first and only IL-23 inhibitor that can deliver clinical remission and endoscopic improvement. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine or plan to. Liver problems may occur in Crohn's disease. Control of Crohn's means everything to me. Ask your gastroenterologist about SkyRizzy. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. You've got a plus service for movies, plus a few plus services for your favorite TV shows, plus a few extra, plus all those pluses add up. I guess that's why there's so many. How about a plus service that's free, plus gives you local news, plus weather, plus sports, plus a little extra. News 8000 Plus, the plus service that's everything local, plus it's free, plus it's easy to find on any of these, plus this. To all you so-called drive through contenders out there, Taco John's is coming for the breakfast belt. With the boldest, cheesiest, baconiest, potato olayiest breakfast burritos ever, we're not pulling any punches. The new breakfast champ is here. Try a bigger, bolder breakfast at Taco John's. Don't be tricked by sales and free stuff. Better products and better prices on all your home improvements during the 2023 Fall Home Show at the Board Store Home Improvements. Don't miss it. the Friday Night Frenzy. I'm Kate, that's Ken. No Ross tonight, but I have a feeling we're gonna be just fine. Tonight we start in the NBC after an 0-2 start on Alaska has won four straight. And that run has put the Hilltoppers back in the WIS Sports rankings, clocking in at 10th this week. Meanwhile, after a loss last week, a win for Sparta could mean big things for the Spartan playoffs hope. Two meeting in on Alaska this evening, and defense dominated the first quarter, but the Hilltoppers break through in the early second. Cameron Cornett, nine yards up the middle. He makes it six nothing on Alaska. Later, Spartans in midfield on fourth down. They're running a fake punt. Camden McTaggart to the far side and is able to turn up field, get the first down, and keep the drive alive. They got into the red zone. Facing fourth and one, Thomas Loffenberg on the keeper, and on Alaska stuffs him. The refs rule it a turnover on downs. And on Alaska takes the momentum on offense. Brady Kuhn on the carry, couple of shifty moves, getting him space and a fresh set of downs. And a couple plays later, Adam Skifton, the Augustana commit, finding Kuhn on the flat. 13-0 at halftime on Alaska, blanks them, 27 zip, so they can clinch a share of the NBC next week when they host Baraboo. Awesome. Central is one game back of the conference lead as the Riverhawks travel to Holman. First quarter, Central's Jude Alvarado scrambles Gets the pass off to Christian Rudrud and the 48-yard touchdown, 7-0 Riverhawks. Next central drive, Gavin Shepard, he's going to score from one yard out. Riverhawks are up 14-0 just like that. Vikings defense, though, they step up. Tristan Brennan jumps on the loose ball. Holman now with great field possession, and then they capitalize on that. Jack Barth takes it in from 10 yards out. We've got a 14-7 game. Third quarter, Riverhawks, they get on the board again off of a high snap, going into the back of the end zone. It's a safety that makes it 16 to seven as Central would win it 22 to 14. Logan trying to keep their playoff hopes alive tonight, but it's Toma getting a huge win, 35-29. A lot of offense. It's the Seawolves' first conference win of the season. Now Logan will have to win their next two games to make the playoff. All right, moving to the Dairyland Conference. Cochrane Fountain City has won four straight games. That keeps them on pace with Pep and Alma at the top of the conference. And with October looming, every win is big if the Pirates want to raise that championship banner for the first time since 2013. They look to make it five straight wins as they travel to Blair Taylor. Pirates getting on the board first. Tanner Schieffer runs it in from just three yards out, and he puts them up 8-0. Wildcats answer Tavian Schrammick with a design QB keep, and this man's going to go 31 yards, finding the inside corner of the end zone for the touchdown. And Blair Taylor? Still on the attack this evening, Jackson Schrammick with the sweep, and he is going to dive for the pylon. He's in. Wildcats go up 14 to 8. 
And boy, they just kept on rolling. Schrammick finding C.J. Dummer on the crosser. Hits the end zone to put him up three scores as the Wildcats get a 32-16 win over CFC. Well, meanwhile, Pepin Alma, they have the state's highest scoring offense, averaging nearly eight touchdowns a game. They traveled to Melrose Mindoro tonight where they, where the Eagles took care of business 43-6. to And Ken, it's like you never left. Jumping in here tonight for Robin, <laughs> you still got it. Oh, thank you so much. I was a little worried beforehand, like I've, I've done so much news coverage in a while. What's it like to call highlights again? Well, I'm glad to have you back. I'm sure the viewers are happy to have you back. Uh, Stick with us. We've got another block of high school football right after the break. We all know how weather goes around here. So why not take the first warn team with you? Stay weather aware with hourly temps and conditions, video forecasts, and interactive radar. And the best part? It's easy to use. Here, try it. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care, you'll see. Don't need glasses, see us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. Hey Nick, what are you usual? Yeah, please. How's your day going? Well, pretty good. Uh, air conditioning went on at the house and I got some guys coming over to fix it. Nothing that GNT can't take your mind off of, right? Oh, absolutely, man. I can always depend on GNC to put my mind at ease. Especially when I make them, eh? Well, I'm talking about GNC heating and air conditioning. They have never let me down. GNT, the best heating and air conditioning guaranteed. Hmm. Maybe I should switch to GNT. One of the best selections of commercial vehicles in the Midwest can be found at Osseo Automotive in Osseo. From medium duty trucks and vans to super duty work trucks, cube vans, chassis cabs and more, you'll find the most popular commercial vehicles from Ford and Chevrolet all in one location. Take advantage of Section 179 tax savings before the end of the year. Get to work with a new commercial truck or van from Osseo Automotive in Osseo. Shop online at osseoautocommercial.com. You get alerts every day for almost everything. I mean, really, pick a topic, get an alert for it. And most of the time, they aren't that important. But if there's one alert worth paying attention to, it's an alert day from First Warn Weather. Alert days aren't just for severe weather, but for disruptive weather, weather that might mess with your day. So when you see this, look out for this. It's one more way the News 8 Now First Warn Weather team keeps you safe and ahead of the storm. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care, you'll see. Schedule your comprehensive eye exam at shopco.com or bring in your outside prescription. Welcome back to the Friday Night Frenzy. Well, West Salem has just one loss on the season, putting those Panthers in the middle of the conference title race. Meanwhile, Viroqua is hoping to keep their playoff hopes alive with a win. So those teams facing off tonight in Viroqua, packed student section. We pick up in the third, West Salem's Mason Chambers out of the backfield, lowers the shoulder and powers his way to a first yeah. down. That's cool conference football right there. Later ahead drive. Panthers Luke Wiginski, he's won to Carter Pontius in the end zone. Great leaping grab for the score. Panthers were up big, and it is West Salem's night. 37-8, your final. All right, number two ranked Aquinas looking for their sixth straight win as they host the Arcadia Raiders. First quarter, Arcadia trying to get it going. Caden Rodering dropping back, but his pass is going to end up in the hands of David Moline, and Moline is going to take it all the way inside the five. What a start for the blue gold defense. A few plays later, Brady Leonard takes the snap. He's going to walk his way in for the score. Aquinas takes an early lead. Next Raider drive, Rodery going to his brother Jordan, but it's off his hands and into the hands of Walter Burns. Another Aquinas interception, and the Blue Golds will capitalize. Jacob Thornton airing it out to Logan Becker, who's wide open. <laughs> Blue Golds take a 14-0 lead. Still in the first quarter, Thornton dropping back, has a man. It's Burns making the grab. He's got room to run. Nobody's going to catch him. It's another Aquinas touchdown as the Blue Golds get the win 56-0. That was a heck of a throw. Staying in the coulee, Westby bounces back from last week's loss with a 53-12 final score at Black River Falls. Westby now improves to 6-1 on the year. All right, lots of smiles over to Cashton. Lots of smiles from the seniors 
for the Eagles as they host New Lisbon. First quarter on fourth down, catching Brett Hemmersbach coming out of the backfield, fine by defenders to move the sticks. Later that drive, this time, it's Brady Hemmersbach. He gets the call. He's going to go into the end zone for the score. The Eagles go up 7-0. Jump to the second quarter. Brady Hemmersbach looking for an open receiver. Puts it downfield, and that's Noah Hemmersbach <laughs> making the catch. Slips by a defender and into the end zone. Home team takes a 14-0 lead. Later that quarter, it's Brady out of the backfield, stretching to get into the end zone. Eagles, they fly to a 46-6 win. Just a nest full of Hemmerschbachs over there. A couple of other scores to round out the evening. Prairie du Chien, big win over Dodgeville, 56-0. They now just need one more win to clinch a playoff spot. All right, over in Minnesota, Caledonia collects their fifth straight win as the Warriors overcome a 13-0 deficit to win 20-13. That sets up a huge matchup next week when Chatfield comes to town. That's always a good matchup, and in a huge Huge nine-man upset. How about this? Maple Canton taking down number two ranked Spring Grove 20 to 12. Their first win over the Lions in 19 tries. That's some history right there. I mean, a lot of big upsets tonight because the season's not over. We've got a yep. lot of games to be played, a lot of upsets yet to happen. Maybe. Absolutely. No. That's all you can hope for, really. Up. <laughs> Coming up, UWL is looking for some Oktoberfest magic tomorrow, and the Packers look back to a tough night against Detroit. All that and more after the break. It's Super Saturday at Home Furniture. Get up to 15% off sale prices with instant factory rebates and 40% off all fall and Halloween decor in the market, plus one-year interest-free financing. Super Saturday, this Saturday only at Home Furniture. At Batteries Plus, we bring power to your life. Extreme heat is tough on your car battery. If you're not sure how much life is left in your car or truck battery, visit us for a free battery test today. Who's always behind the scenes helping make safe, regulated childcare possible in Wisconsin? DCF. We're your trusted source in support of quality childcare. Learn more at qualitychildcare.wi.gov. The perfectly melted cheese, the juicier patty, the golden bun, it's all here. Bravo, bravo. Well, it was a second ago. Hurry in for 30% off any purchase of $5 or more. Only in the app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Why didn't we do this last year? Before you were preventing migraine, would you look that? And look at me now. You'll never truly forget migraine, but zero migraine days are possible. Don't take if allergic to Culipta. Most common side effects are nausea, constipation, and sleepiness. Culipta, the forget you get migraine medicine. Come and get the very best windows and doors at the lowest price during the fall home show only at the board store. Always your home for high quality at lower prices. We bring you superior products installed by our exceptional team of carpenters, plumbers, and electricians. Visit or call during our fall home show for added savings on replacement windows, patio doors, entry doors, and all your home improvements. Visit us, call us, connect online for the best windows and doors at the lowest price. The fall home show only at the board store home improvements. Don't miss it. It's Ford SUV season. Time to gear up for adventure on or off-road. Get great deals on our capable lineup of Ford SUVs, including Ford Explorer, Ford Bronco Sport, and Ford Edge, all designed with technology to give you confidence on the road. Hurry in to your local Ford dealer. SUV season will end soon. Now, get 2.9% financing for 66 months, plus 1,500 flex by cash on select Ford SUVs, only at your local Northland Ford dealers. It's Super Saturday at Home Furniture. Get up to 15% off sale prices with instant factory rebates and 40% off all fall and Halloween decor in the market, plus one-year interest-free financing. Super Saturday, this Saturday only at Home Furniture. All right, welcome back to the Friday Night Frenzy. We're done with the high school highlights, but now we need to talk about last night. It was a rough game for the Packers as Green Bay fell at home to the Detroit Lions 34 to 20. Yeah. It was a 14 point loss, but at times felt much worse than that. Detroit opened the game up with an interception that led to a Packers field goal. But after that, the Lions offense was doing whatever they wanted. They scored points in their next four drives, three of those resulting in touchdowns and offensively Green Bay managed just 21 total yards in the first half. A big reason for that was the offensive line. They went into the game with no Bakhtiari, no Jenkins, 
and the Lions took advantage. They had a season-high 22 quarterback pressures and brought Love down five times. The offense looked better in the second half as Love recorded two touchdowns, and now the offense needs to bring it all together for four straight quarters. It has to be urgency. Urgency has to be kind of the, the thing, and I, I echoed that after uh, we broke is uh, kind of look, look in the second half when we started going up tempo and moving the ball, breaking, breaking the line of scrimmage with urgency and putting pressure on those guys. And one thing about this team, no one holding their heads down. We just understand we need to do better and we will do better. Well, the good news is the Packers have an extra long week as they won't play again until Monday, October 9th. They will be on the road in Vegas. Bad news, offensive line will continue to be in question. David Bakhtiari put on injured reserve and will miss at least the next four games. All right, no Wisconsin games tomorrow as the Badgers have a bye week, but in Division Three, the Eagles will be at home for some Oktoberfest football. UWL hosts UW Stout down at Roger Herring Stadium. Kickoff at 2 p.m. I'll have full coverage of that game tomorrow. All right, last series of the year. Cubs at Milwaukee. Chicago on the outside of the wild card picture in need of some wins. But with the bases loaded, William Contreras sends one up the middle. Defense can't field it cleanly as Milwaukee takes the lead. Very next batter, Carlos Santana, sends one down the right field line, and it's trouble. Bryce Terang scores. William Contreras comes in to score, and the throw to third not going to be in time as Santana is in with a two-run triple. But at the top of the ninth, Ian Happ tied the game up with a solo home run. This game would go into extras, and the Brewers, they would walk it off. Let's go. Just minutes ago, they got the win 4-3. to three. What an update from that. <laughs> Not a Cubs. Yeah. On the outside of the wild card picture, they're a game and a half back. They need to win both games, and they need the Marlins to lose both their games. I mean, I would have never guessed they missed the playoff picture, but here we are. I think what you just said was so sweet as a Brewers fan, because the Marlins are playing the Pirates, too, so you, you can't bank on the Pirates giving them help Don't either. Don't get too ahead of yourself. The Brewers have to make <laughs> it through the playoffs. So you might yeah. be heartbroken in a few weeks. I guess we won't know. They stay with us. We've got the play of the night still to come. Take a look at that. We'll have more on that after the break. Stories are told on our Instagram at WKBT News 8. Or you can always find us at News8000.com. So I come to this country looking for opportunities, and I found out in Pilgrims. The opportunities in here are like infinity. Give Pilgrims an opportunity. It's going to be great, and it's a really, really good place for it. Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin, in fall. Surrounded by breathtaking colors, with so many fall things to do, like picking and exploring. Celebrate fall in Prairie du Chien with us at one of many great events. Along the Mississippi, between the majestic river bluffs, fall in Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. We'll see you soon. Marine is your boating headquarters for new and used boats, motors, and marine products. Repower your boat with select Yamaha outboards. Experience legendary Yamaha reliability with superior power, performance, and efficiency. Now let's check out our large in-stock selection in the powerhouse showroom and discover Bennington Boats, powered by Yamaha. Bennington gives you trend-setting design and rock-steady construction. Better boat, better value, better warranty, period. It's your money. Why pay more and get less? Free winter storage with the purchase of any new boat purchased by October 31st. Stop by today or visit us online at powerhousemarine.com. Powerhouse Marine Lacrosse. Why didn't we do this last year? Before you were preventing migraine with Culepta? Remember the pain? Cancel plans? The worry? That was then. And look at me now. You'll never truly forget migraine, but Culepta reduces attacks, making zero migraine days possible. It's the only pill of its kind that blocks CGRP and is approved to prevent migraine of any frequency to help give you that forget-you-get-migraine feeling. Don't take if allergic to Culepta. Most common side effects are nausea, constipation, and sleepiness. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. Culepta, the forget-you-get-migraine medicine. This is you, or better said, this is how you see the day. One place to the next, one more thing to check off the list, and maybe it's a bit too much, or maybe you wouldn't have it any other way. But stopping for 30 minutes? Well, that's just not an option. So that's why there's this, the News 8000 app. All your local news, plus a little bit beyond. So take a break when you want to. You know where to find the app. My career path, I started as a quality technician, 
and was promoted three times in three years and now I'm a quality lead. I encourage others to apply at Pilgrims for the pay, the hours, the benefits, and to be one big loving family. All right, how about the play of the night? We go back to UWL Aquinas hosting Arcadia. Jacob Thorin finds Walter Burns, and Burns makes it all the way to the house, 75 yards for the touchdown. What a play from them. Yeah, absolutely. And hey, thanks for having me tonight. Appreciate it. Glad you could join us. <laughs> thanks to the crew. Thanks for everyone back. Rob will be back next week.